Hey there Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back. Virgo, this is going to be your next 48 hour reading. So this is a timeless reading. So when you see it is when you're meant to receive it. And if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Let's jump right in. Um, Virgo. Um, when I was doing your meditation, I felt like there's something that, or someone close to you who is in denial. This may be your energy, this may be someone else's. But I feel like there's, there's someone that is denying some kind of truth in the situation. Um... There's someone who may need to be more honest in the situation, um, but I feel like there's like a lack of trust. Okay, let's get more into this. Let's find out more information for Virgo the next 48 hours. Let's get some more information on this. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. And the Justice card. Okay. At the bottom we have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're building some kind of defenses up. I feel like you're protecting yourself from some sort of situation. You're setting boundaries. But with the Nine of Wands, you know, the Nine of Wands, they're also looked at as the wounded warrior. The wounded warrior. Okay? So, and the Nine of Wands, they're not backing down. They're staying in the fight. They're persistent. Okay? So it could be that you're building up your walls. You're building up these boundaries to kind of protect yourself because you're still in this fight. You're not backing down. You're standing on some kind of belief, some kind of decision that you've made or that you need to make that may have been very hard for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I feel like there's some kind of information coming through with this Eight of Wands and Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're learning some kind of information, something that holds a lot of value to you. Something that you may not be aware of. Something that you are totally unsure of. Because after you receive this communication, we see that there's a decision that you need to make. There's a choice that needs to be made. And then we have the Justice card. So I feel like you are kind of becoming judge and jury in this situation. Because I feel like someone is in denial. Someone is not speaking the truth. So I feel like you are kind of judging this person for their actions. Okay? Um, it is very interesting energy, Virgo. But I feel like whatever information this is, I feel like we need to look a little bit deeper. I'm going to go ahead and use the after tarot to kind of ask the questions. What is this energy? Um, and we'll get some clarification. Okay, uh, Spirit, give me a message for Virgo for the next 48 hours. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands and this Page of Pentacles. What, what is this information? What is this communication or this action that needs to be taken for Virgo? Tell me more about this situation. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> the Two of Swords again. So it's a decision. It's a decision, and it may have to do with family. Someone that you care very strongly for. It may have to do with a past relationship, a family member, or someone very close to you. Someone that feels like family. Okay, but I feel like it's a decision that you have been hesitating to make. 
um, because you didn't have all of the information. And I feel like once this information comes through, it makes it a little bit more clear for you to make this hard decision. Um, and then you're able to come to some kind of resolution, some kind of um, solution. But I feel like this is someone very close to you, Virgo. And I'm going to tell you, I really feel like this is some kind of hard choice that needs to be made. And I feel like you've been you've been in denial about the situation. You really didn't want to make this decision. You really didn't want to go there, you know, with this person or with this situation, you know? Tell me more about this Two of Swords and Justice card. Okay, we have the Temperance, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Okay, this may have to do with someone's um, job, someone's ability to support themselves. Um, because I feel like with the Temperance, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, I feel like you're like caught between a rock and a hard place, you know? Um, I feel like, you know, you have the need to be set free for, from something. And um, the Hierophant is giving you that freedom, that spiritual guidance that you're looking for. You know, with the Justice card attached to it, I feel like it's all going to work out, Virgo. But I feel like this is maybe a job loss someone losing income and having to make a hard choice to maybe move back home, move in with someone else. Um, but I feel like it's a very hard decision. I feel like you really want to see this thing through, but I feel like you kind of, you're caught between a rock and a hard place. There's a very hard decision that you need to make. Okay. Um, okay. Let's get some more messages. For Virgo. Spirit, tell me more. What does Virgo need to know, please? What does Virgo need to know about this situation? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. The Two of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Okay. And we have the Three of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like, Virgo, what you don't see is that you have support. I feel like, you know, there is a hard choice that you're going to have to make. There's some kind of decisions that you have to make. But I feel like you, you definitely have support. Okay? You're definitely being supported. And I feel like your situation is going to work out better than you expected. You're going to be able to walk away feeling very satisfied, very loved, very nurtured, very supported. And you're, you're going to find a better situation with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. Okay? So whatever this is that you have to walk away from, and I, I'm sorry if I'm saying have to walk away, but that... That is what Spirit is telling me. You have to walk away from the situation. Okay? But I feel like you're walking away into a better situation. And for some of you, if you're, if you're open to love, I feel like this love brings a lot of happiness. You know? But I feel like it's coming after you walk away from what this is that's you know, bringing this choice, this denial. Okay? So, it, it's very interesting energy. But I feel like, you know, then again, it's very straightforward, Virgo. Um, it's putting you in a better position. So, if it's a job that maybe you have lost or had to walk away from, I feel like you're going to find a better job. You're going to find a better career, uh, something that provides more income, more stability, something that you're more happy with. Okay? Um, give me more messages for Virgo, please. More messages for Virgo. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to come into this new thoughts, 
new abilities. There, there's someone who's going to give you an offer. It's going to be a blessing because it's going to, you know, come at just the right moment, you know, and it's going to feel like it's coming out of nowhere like it's a blessing you have the nine of cups twice so this is definitely some kind of fulfillment some kind of wish being granted to you so it's really beautiful energy for you and we have the ten of cups excuse me the ten of pentacles again so i feel like the situation that you're walking into is going to be much better than the situation you had to leave Okay, there's going to be more income, more satisfaction, more contentment, and you're going to feel more happiness, you know, and um, like I said, it may be that you even find love uh, during this time, but I feel like there's a lot more contentment. There's a lot more income, abundance coming your way, Virgo. So let go of the worry and just focus, okay? Because it's all going to work out in your favor. It's all working out for your greater good, okay? That is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. So let's take a look at some angel cards. What does Virgo need to know in this situation? Okay. We have happy big changes. Beautiful. Improving your health. It may be that in the old situation you were in, maybe you didn't feel very good about it. Maybe, you know, it was a long, long hours, you know, lots of stress. But I feel like, you know, things are going to be improving for you. Things are going to work out in your favor, Virgo. Not to worry. And everything is going to be so much better in the near future. So this is right around the corner for you. You're going to see this right away. The situation will improve. You know, your angels are speaking to you and letting you know that you are fully supported. There are better things in store for you, Virgo. And matter of fact, we're going to get some angel cards too. So that we can get more of a message. We have life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So like I said, love is in the air for you, Virgo. So that's something that you may not be expecting. So I really feel like this is a blessing for you. Okay. We also have sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. And remember that love has no boundaries. Okay. We also have experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Okay. So, yeah, that is what I have for you. Uh, Virgo. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. I have all the March readings for the 1st to the 15th up. So if you want to take a look at that playlist and watch your sun, moon, and rising, please do so. And until your next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. Love and light.